Trainer Jamie Moore set the scene for us a couple of minutes ago in saying that this is the first big step up for Aki Fiaz. The longest he's been in his professional career so far, eight rounds. This scheduled tonight for the championship distance of 12 against Reese Bellotti, former Commonwealth champion in the featherweight division, and now attempting to win the title tonight, four pounds heavier at Super Feather. I don't know how much I agree with that, though. His last fight against Costi Ion, I spent a lot of time with him in Spain, training, sparring him, and he was a very tough fight, and it was a, it was a big fight. It was a tough fight for Kip Fiaz, and I think he learned more from that night than he probably did for the rest of his professional career so far. But they can really get you right in the pit of the stomach. Oh, good one time there from Fiaz on the move. And just managed to ride out the work that came back from Bellotti there. It's important to cash out your punches, to get the work and take it away with you. Heavy hands though for Bellotti to finish the round. Yeah, but a good defence from Fiaz. He held his, held his hands on the side for control. Just a slowly circle around the ring, not really getting backed up. Obviously, his back touched the rope there now, but good work with the right uppercut. Followed by some short body shots there. Good work from Fiaz off the rope. Well, Bellotti's trying to smother Fiaz's work. All he's doing is smothering his own work, ironically. He needs to punch a bit longer. And he gave Fiaz a lovely little turn there, made it quite easy for him. He came straight in and he pivoted right around the target and he was there back in the, in the corner himself. Again, changing the angle, Fiaz, this time in the clinch. Time the left hook on the way in then. Fiaz on the ropes. And just a sense in the closing stages of this second round that Fiaz beginning to read. The left. <laughs> she has to continue to keep making Fiaz rush his work. Oh. Shit run for his troubles there, Fiaz, though, as he was finding the target. Got a bit carried away for his work. Yeah, Bellotti began his career 12 fights unbeaten, 11 inside the distance. And they, that may have led to those issues. When you've got heavy hands, you cheat yourself out of experience. Me and Barry wouldn't know about that one, though. <laughs> I say with everything, you, know, you don't keep anything in your locker. You know, this is not a game of cards. You just, whatever you're good at, you show them straight away and give it to them. Right. No no and this power, make him feel the power as early as you possibly can. To the panic on your opponent. And Bellotti coming here on the back of two wins, and those in turn on the back of three defeats against the likes of the American Southpaw, Raymond Ford, and Jordan Gill, and I remember you saying, Barry, that Gill had pretty much the template against Bellotti in that you can't let him get his feet set. Yeah, constantly, well, well, what he did, he keeps it very simple, he used the, just the fundamentals, Gill, jab, straight right hand, but constantly changed the direction with the feet, and that just offset everything that Bellotti tried to do. Heading towards halfway and both corners, stressing the importance of concentration at this stage. Again, Fiaz, the man who's only been eight rounds. Bellotti has been the 12 round championship distance. And I think the fight's heating up really nicely at this point. Break. At the beginning of the sixth round, I think after a nice, sharp, crisp start from Fiaz, didn't really put too much of a foot wrong. Bellotti's just creeping into the fight a little bit here. And like I said, you know, he would have felt that he was gonna, he would have feel that he was gonna be like that for him. It was gonna be a difficult to, the man probably see technically better, with a better, bit better vision. And, and just when the distance is going to cause you problems, of course. Maybe not so early, but he might not have thought. He might have thought he had to come down for maybe further. But at the same time, but he will probably be confident in the fact that he's operated at a higher level. That was a good left hook, though, as he walked in, almost unaware of what was coming back. But yeah. then, right now, I think in this round, but is getting some of the cleaner work, and then it's looking like Fiaz is really trying to initiate the hold of the clinch. Yeah. And for me, that's negative body language. And when the three judges are scoring. All they're really scoring is their memory of the three minutes. He just, he just, he just threw a lovely jab there, Fiaz. A lovely jab. But he didn't pivot out of the way. He got himself in trouble and allowed, and allowed Bellotti to get close, leaning in. They get a hard target to hit back. I'm surprised that the referee didn't really say anything to Bellotti there. He was completely almost using Fiaz to hold himself up. Pinning him, him, sorry, in the corner. 
good tactic if he's allowed to get away with it. And another body shot lands from Belotti, probably his best round of the fight. Shot there from Kiyos to finish the round. But... And blood streaming from the right eye of Reese Belotti as he makes his way back to the corner. See, Belotti probably investing a little bit in the dark arts here and getting away with it for yeah, the most part. But what he's doing cleverly, he's sticking his right hand and then in between in between the arm there, if he has, and if he has, has to hold him. And it's looking like, yeah, it looks like yeah. it's looking like Fiaz is not only initiating it, but wanting to continue it at the same yeah, time. Sure. Good body shot. And the mover on the tag there with the feet there for Bellotti. He's had good success with that jab chop, especially when he's not really committing to yeah. the jab and he's letting the chop go. Maybe double up, chop, and then chop on the other side. He's cut, Bellotti's there, often right in front of him. Maybe it's sometimes just going through that second gear a little bit for Fiaz. These are always the hard rounds, especially for me anyway. In a 12 round fight, especially early ones, it's the middle round, six, seven, eight, when you still got a bit of a stretch to go. The rounds are getting hard, the opponent's coming hard. There's the concentration, isn't it? That's the, that's the problem. Good, Good hooks landing for Belotti while Fiaz is backed up. A return answer from Fiaz. I think Belotti had the better of that exchange though. I have to say, this is the first time Fiaz has looked really tired. And again, every time they're coming together, he's holding, head down, he's not really looking to do too much or initiate too much fighting. You talk also, Sonny, about that psychological turmoil for Fiaz. He would now be looking at just one more round to go previously in his career, whereas he's only just past halfway at this stage. And Fiaz is a student of the sport as well, he's been around a long time, I've seen him in the gyms for years, and he knows that Belotti is going to come. He's going to come for 12 rounds and he's going to come as hard as he can. A good shot though with the left hook as Belotti leans in. That cut's not looking great though on the right side of Belotti's face. I think he's lucky where it is, but it's opening up a little bit. We'll hear from Belotti. The blood getting smeared around that eye, but Belotti still working away. In simple terms, Akufia is not doing what you said Jordan Gill did in terms of creating a template. Not letting Velocity get set. That was the key to Jordan Gill's wrist. And it's, and it's what I said at the beginning of the fight for me as well, for Fiaz. It's what he does after he throws the punch, and, that, and that's all about moving your feet in a safe direction. In a safe, put yourself in a safe place. And again, the thing that made Bellotti quite, you know, maybe easy to predict in the first few rounds is now becoming one of his strengths. He's getting to the edge of range. He's just going. He's yeah. going forward. He's getting there. He's throwing that same consistency. And when it starts landing, good left hook lands. He's fitting gone. Big shot for Reese Bellotti. 50 seconds to go in round number eight. And Fiaz he's looking across in his corner. And he slowly just started breaking him down, breaking him down. He was always there, always there. And eventually, that left hook that was missing in the first and second round, it landed in the eighth. Half a minute to go in the round. And Bellotti now senses a chance. It's a big chance. Fiaz covering up on the ropes. Looking for an escape route. But Bellotti denying him the chance. Big attack this. The towels are hand there. He's killing over. This is terrible body language right over Fiaz. Bit of shots though. That's what he needs more of. He can't be getting back up and outlanded him. He had a torrid time in his last fight against Costas Young. And now it's trouble again for Fiaz at the end of this. The eighth round and in comes the towel from the Jamie Moore corner. Referee hasn't seen it and kicks it away. Reese Bellotti believes he's won the contest. And there could be controversy here because Mark Lyson is saying that he doesn't want to recognise the towel. I do feel like Jamie's face, as soon as the bell went, he was trying to make out he didn't throw the towel in. So I feel like they had a little telepathic communication, Jamie Moore and the ref then, well, and well, they've given him the minute. But look, I would say one thing. There's a disagreement in the corner. Fiaz is saying, please, please. And this is it. The referee has been told by Jamie Moore in the corner that Fiaz will go no further. And Fiaz is distraught here in the eighth round or at the end of the round.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Lyson calls a halt to this contest at the end of round number eight. Declaring your winner by two by TKO. He's now a two-time and a two-way Commonwealth champion, Reese Bomber Bumlotti.